Hello, friends, now I'm going to tell you about the British film 2015 called I Can Do Anything. In the meantime, like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new releases. And we went. The aliens discover a message from Earth containing information about the human race and a map of the Earth. They are considering the possibility of destroying the Earth if the inhabitants of the planet cannot pass their test and use the powers given to them for evil. As a test, they decided to give superpowers to one of the residents, chosen randomly, who turns out to be a high school teacher Neil Clark. At first, still unaware of his new capabilities, Neil accidentally, in a fit of passion, forces an alien spaceship to destroy the classroom at school, killing the entire class at the same time. I want the aliens to destroy the 10th century. The Galactic Council scolds the alien who blew up the classroom. He replies that of the millions of species that have been tested, not one has passed it and all have been destroyed. Puzzled and excited, Neil goes home and slowly begins to realize that he is endowed with power. He pronounces everyone who has died comes back to life and unknowingly causes everyone who has ever died to resurrect, which leads to a zombie apocalypse. He reverses it and rewinds the time a day ago. Neil begins to use his power for personal gain, makes himself the President of the United States, creates a more muscular body for himself, increases the size of the penis and makes Master Robinson nice to him in communication. Come on, you big fuck. Ah, well, not up to that. At night, the galactic power possessed by the aliens collapses for a moment, which means that there is nothing more Neil can do. This happens just at the moment when Neil asks his girlfriend Catherine to fall in love with him. And coincidentally, a drunk Catherine comes to his house after her friend suggested that she sleep with Neil. As a result, they spend the night together, they are seen by Colonel Grant, an American soldier chasing Catherine. The next day, Catherine comes to Neil to talk, but then Dennis, Neil's dog, shouts from the kitchen that he loves Neil. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, 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 I'm sorry, really, really. You're a rational being. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't resist. Thinking that Neil is gay, Catherine runs away, returns home and finds Colonel Grant waiting for her in his apartment. She locks him up. Neil appears and offers to cook her dinner, she accepts the offer. Grant gets free and interferes with them. Beats Neil and while he is unconscious kidnaps him and Dennis. When Neil comes to, Grant forces him to fulfill his selfish and senseless desires, threatening to shoot Dennis if he refuses. Catherine and Ray track Neil down to the apartment Grant rents and rescue Neil. But before that, Neil makes Catherine fall in love with Grant. Being free, Neil cancels all the wishes he fulfilled for Grant. Arriving home, Catherine declares to Neil that she will never be able to love someone who could make her do anything. Discouraged, Neil decides to use his powers to solve the world's problems. He gives everyone in the world as much food as they want. Let everyone have as much food as they want. He gives everyone in the world their own dream home. I want everyone to have a place to live. No, let everyone have a dream home. And eliminates any reason for war. Let the reasons why people are fighting disappear forever. However, this soon leads to the opposite consequences. Obesity rates are increasing all over the world and several countries are declaring war on each other for no reason. Disappointed, Neil goes to Hammer Smith Bridge with the intention of doing something. But when he jumps into the River Thames, Dennis jumps after him and Neil is forced to pull them both out of the river. Sitting on a bench in Hampstead Heath overlooking London, Dennis says that Neil should give him power because he never thinks about anything selfish and likes to fulfill other people's wishes, which Neil happily does. Meanwhile, the aliens finish their test and decide that Earth is unworthy, showing that they view greedy and evil acts as strong, and thoughtful acts as weak. So they decide to destroy the planet. But just before they are about to do this, Dennis asks to destroy the energy source. May the source of my superpower be destroyed forever. Forcing the laser beam heading towards Earth to return back to the alien ship, 
killing them all and destroying the galactic force. Neil, convinced that he has lost his strength, invites Catherine on a date and she agrees. Well, friends, who have already watched the movie, write your impressions of watching in the comments and do not forget to like and click on the bell. Good luck to everyone.